A 79-year-old male presenting with a large anal canal polyp and a large low rectal polyp underwent TAMIS procedure. A reusable trans-anal deport is inserted together with a 10mm 30-degree scope. The large anal canal polyp is shown as well as the low rectal polyp. A monocurved grasping forceps is inserted at the 9 o'clock port orifice and a graduated straight grasping forceps at the 3 o'clock port orifice. The mobility of the two polyps is checked. A monocurved coagulating hook is inserted at the 3 o'clock port orifice. The first polyp's resection line is marked. The preoperative stage of this polyp is UTIS N0, therefore a partial thickness excision is planned. The incision is started with an incision of the mucosal and submucosal layer inferiorly using the coagulating hook. The muscular layer becomes evident and a smooth separation using the coagulating hook is performed. The left lateral resection is started as well. The surgeon is working under satisfactory ergonomics. Gentle dissection of the muscular layer is continued. The right lateral resection is performed as well. The superior edge is freed respecting the muscularis propria. Finally, the specimen is removed through the deport. The remaining defect to be closed is displayed and assessed. A monocurved needle holder with a 3-0 V-lock suture is inserted into the middle port orifice. The needle holder is then introduced at the 3 o'clock port orifice. The first suture is placed medially and after securing the first bite, subsequent bites are positioned, running the suture in the right lateral direction. The surgeon continues to work under satisfactory ergonomics. A final bite is placed at the lateral corner of the flap. Monocurved scissors are inserted at the 3 o'clock port orifice and the suture is cut. A second running suture is started medially and oriented in the left lateral direction. Different bites are placed until the end of the opening is reached. The suture is then cut. The second polyps resection margin is marked with the coagulating hook. Due to the major fixation of the polyp and the preoperative stage, which was UTIS or T1N0, an unblocked resection was decided to be performed. The dissection is first started laterally. The coagulation hook is continuously used. Then the inferior edge is freed and the dissection is oriented superiorly.
Finally, the specimen is completely freed. This polyp is also removed through the deport. The second effect to be closed has shown. First running suture using the 30 VLOC suture is started at the inferior corner of the opening. Other bites were placed easily thanks to the tension kept on the suture. The second suture is placed at the superior corner. After securing the superior corner, other bites are subsequently positioned. Finally, the two sutures were tied together. Here is the final endoluminal view of the closure of the defects.